news ma'am. The Queen attends Sunday church service in Windsor as Britain awaits baby Sussex, and doctors say that overdue Meghan could be induced in hospital despite her hopes of a home birth. The Queen was pictured travelling from Windsor Castle to the Royal Chapel of All Saints in Windsor Great Park today. The Royal, 93 opted for a pretty pink ensemble, matching her blazer to her trademark hat which was adorned with a floral embellishment. The Queen's appearance came as fans eagerly await news of the birth of Duke and Duchess of Sussex's firstborn. According to reports it was always the Duchess of Sussex's fervent wish to give birth naturally in the calm surroundings of her secluded Windsor home, Frogmore Cottage, pictured. But now a week overdue and with no sign of baby Sussex's arrival. The 37-year-old Duchess was last night facing the disappointing prospect of induced labor and a hospital birth. Unless nature takes its course in the next 48 hours, it is now increasingly likely she will give birth at Frimley Park Hospital in Surrey, 15 miles from Frogmore Cottage. The Queen looked serious as she sat in the back seat of the car, appearing to travel without her seatbelt. While often accompanied by the Duke of Edinburgh, 97. It seems that the Queen's husband had remained at home as she was chauffeur-driven to the Sunday service. Accessorizing with pearl earrings, a necklace and red lipstick, the royal looked to be deep in thought. The Queen's appearance comes amid reports Meghan could be induced, which is typically offered seven to ten days after the due date, although it can be left as late as two weeks if mother and baby are well and fit. At that point, induction is imperative. Once the Duchess has been induced, either physical manipulation or drugs to trigger contractions, there will be no chance of a home birth as that is against national guidelines, which also apply to private doctors and midwives. Last week, Prince Harry, 34, cancelled the first day of his official trip to Amsterdam due to start this Wednesday, citing logistical planning reasons. Harry and Meghan, 37 were due to welcome the much-anticipated royal baby at the end of April or beginning of May, but there has been no word on the Duchess going into labor. At Frogmore Cottage, the Duchess, who is with Prince Harry and her mother Doria, was said to be comfortable and happy in getting plenty of fresh air in the garden. Sources say a nurse visited the home in the past week and, as the Mail on Sunday revealed last month, a female-led delivery team is on standby. Royal fans spent another day yesterday waiting patiently for news, but none was forthcoming, leaving the vacuum for social media gossip to go into overdrive, with some even speculating the baby had already been born. The Queen's appearance comes after leading bookmakers have suspended betting on the birth date of the royal baby amid rumors baby Sussex is already here. Leading bookmakers Coral and Patty Power have both halted betting on when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's baby will be born, as fans speculate that Meghan, 37, may have already given birth. Patty Power said in their announcement that speculation has them convinced that someone knows something. Coral's John Hill said, The announcement of the birth of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's first child is expected any day now and if some speculation is correct. It may have already arrived therefore we have pulled the plug on our birth date betting. We continue to see thousands of bets daily on the name of the child though, with Grace proving the most popular with punters and is the favorite ahead of Diana and Arthur. Meanwhile a Patty Power spokesman said, we've suspended betting on which day Harry and Meghan's baby will arrive following a huge increase in wagers this evening which indicate to us that someone knows something, and perhaps the child is already born. That, combined with the rumors and speculation has us convinced that the royal arrival has already happened and if the betting is anything to go by, it's almost certainly a baby girl. Earlier this week palace sources categorically denied speculation the royal baby had already been born. Palace sources have insisted Harry's cancellation of the first day of his Amsterdam trip is unconnected with the birth, but the move will allow him more time with the baby should he or she be born in the meantime. A spokesman for the Duke said, due to the logistical planning for the travelling press to cover visits and engagements by the royal family, we have taken the decision to postpone the Duke of Sussex's scheduled visit to Amsterdam on Wednesday 8 of May 2019. The Duke is currently scheduled to travel to The Hague on Thursday 9 May for the launch of the Invictus Games The Hague 2020 as planned. Last week, 
Buckingham Palace confirmed to Entertainment Tonight Canada that the media would be informed when Meghan is in labour. This comes following the announcement that Harry and Meghan would spend some time celebrating the new arrival before sharing details of their firstborn. Last month they confirmed, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very grateful for the goodwill they have received from people throughout the United Kingdom and around the world as they prepare to welcome their baby. Their Royal Highnesses have taken a personal decision to keep their plans around the arrival of their baby private. The Duke and Duchess look forward to sharing the exciting news with everyone once they have had an opportunity to celebrate privately as a new family.